Baby Daddy's Weekend Tour. Um, you're, has it started already? Yeah, it started already. We're probably like two weeks in. Tell me a little bit about how's it been going. It's been going great. This has been a very, very exciting tour. We had a great run of festivals all summer. So we kind of spent that time like tightening up our set and getting our headline show just like very locked in. Um, I think we're putting on my favorite show that we've ever put on. And it's also super exciting because we're playing music from the new album that I'm almost done with. And um, that makes my heart very happy. And the shows have just been really fun and lively and beautiful. So I'm excited. Monday marks 10 years since X's and O's was released, which is absolutely, I was just looking it up, which is totally crazy. Um, how does, take me through the past 10 years. Did you, did you know that that was happening on Monday? That was the anniversary date? No. Oh my gosh. Am I old? <laughs> I think I'm old. We both are. <laughs> Whoa. What am I going to do? My baby's 10. That's so crazy. Um. Oh my gosh. The last 10 years have been like, 10 years. That's nuts. Um, it's been crazy and how beautiful that it's like been a decade. Um, I feel like I look back on it and I feel proud. Maybe I shouldn't have said a few things here and there, but I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change a thing. And I just never thought that that song would like send me on the trajectory that I've been on. And like, I mean, honestly, I was just like making out with people and writing songs about it. And like, it works if you just tell the truth and make music or whatever art about like whatever your story or your experience is and someone out there is going to find a connection to it. So it's cool. Um, you said this is probably the best tour, or your favorite tour that you've been on. How do you make up the set list, putting in the hits and fan favorites? What does that process kind of look like? It's hard because like, you know, I love going to shows and like, I love going to see like bands. Like I listen to like a full record and I I'm guilty of like wanting to hear every note that like I'm used to, you know, and like, I want to hear all the songs that like are my favorite. So it's really hard to make everybody happy. Um, but ultimately I, I have to put on the, the best show from my heart and my spirit and try and fit um, a little bit of everything. Cause my fans are a little all over the board. And so like some people come from my older bluesy rock stuff. Some people come from my country and I I have to kind of like, you know, play fair and, and find a way to like weave. I used to struggle with that a lot. And me and the band were like, we're very much a family unit. And um, we would just spend like this year, we've spent like a lot of time playing through stuff, seeing how, um, kind of like the arc of a show would be and like what places are like a good spot for like an emotional song or bringing back certain things. And, and then like festivals can be hard because people might not necessarily be there just to see you. They might be there for the whole picture. So it's not like always the best target, like market, like audience for what your headline show should be, but you can definitely get a vibe for like what a crowd likes. So um, it's just been like with love putting like a show and, and set list together. Um, sometimes it's luck, but a lot of times it's us as like a collective group being like, this is a good flow for show. Is there that one song that's kind of like the underdog and you're like, it goes from set list to set list. Like we have to play this cause this is like our best number. Um, I mean, we, we play a lot of songs that, have never been put on a record and people know them. So it's so weird. Cause I guess I forget that like, well, I mean, I know that people film things at shows and put them on the internet. Um, and so like people will request, like if we do a VIP thing and like we play a couple songs from a new record or like sometimes people shout like a request. And um, this woman last week like requested a show called good for nothing woman. And that's never been put on a record or anything, but like, there's videos of it online. Like the number one reso like song request I get is a song called Can't Be Loved. And like, that was from like probably 10 years ago. So it's just, it's weird. I don't even remember the question. Sorry for rambling on. Oh, you're fine. That answered it. Um, I don't know how many details you can get into about the new album, but talk about where your songwriting is right now and just kind of the headspace you're in and putting it together. 
Right now, I mean, this year has has been um, like a, a pretty wild roller coaster, but I feel like it's been like the year of truth telling and like looking in the mirror. And um, I mean, I I didn't expect to like have any form of footing in any semblance. Um, I didn't think that my year was going to ever have like joy. Um, and this year has actually ended up being really, really great. But I think if you make if you make certain changes, it puts you closer to the path that you're supposed to be on in whatever form that is. And for me, that really pushed me into a different level of creativity of like, hey, if 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 you I mean, I could I could mess up and and or something could happen, God forbid, and I could never make music again. You know, I could never make an album again. So I just went into this like what makes me happy, what brings me joy, what is what is the best like storytelling and what do I what do I want it to sound like? And um when I kind of took my foot off the pedal um and just started making music that like really like makes my heart like happy. Um I don't know if that means I don't know if it's ever going to get played on the radio and like I don't know if I care. I mean, I just I just want to make music that means something to me. And I think that that um, doesn't mean I won't make like a whole other full album full of radio songs, you know, like I, I'll probably make a lot more records throughout my life if I'm lucky. Um, but right now, this has been an incredible experience of just writing and um, I don't know, making music that makes me happy. What can people who are coming to the show expect? Um, a really great show with the best band ever. I mean, my band is so incredible. I'm always like, don't tell them who good they are because they already know. And then they're just going to want more money. And I'm just kidding. Um, but just a great show with lots of surprises. And um, we have an awesome opener called the band Lula and they're really, really sweet. And she's country as hell and barefoot. And um, it's just great. It's just a happy tour. And like, I love to see it. Like people still bring their kids and like, I see lots of like littles like on, on shoulders and it's so sweet. Like I'm blown away by how young some of these kids are singing my lyrics. It's really funny. Um, but yeah, it's it's a really fun show. And they're, I can't believe I'm about to say this. I am old. There is something for everybody. Um, and we really have put our whole, like, just our whole everything into into the show right now. And it's the best one that we've ever put on. So um, I'm excited. How does it feel? I would imagine that a lot of the instruments used in the studio recordings of your songs are authentic and the band is playing together. But how does it feel to take the songs from the studio and you know, bring them on stage and have the audience listen to it. I mean, there's so many emotions that go into that. I mean, it can be like a daunting feeling. And honestly, like, oh, my gosh, if it's a slow song and we're playing a, not only a new song, but a new slow song. Um, it's like there have been times where because I have a new song. What's the date today? I have a new song coming out in two days called High Road. And it's a it's a slower song. It's a it's a like classic country song. Um but it's it's slow and um, it's super nerve wracking, but it's also been incredible because, you know, the album I'm working on right now, I don't know if I if I can really put it under to me. A lot of it sounds like classic country, but like I don't even want to put it under any umbrella of genre because I just let people who listen to it make up their own mind. Um, but we have officially added a steel player. Um, so it's uh, it's it changes. Um, because you do need specific instrumentation um, to really do the album justice, you know? And we have like probably one of the best pedal steel players I've heard. And we got very, very lucky with him. And that just makes our show. It's just, it's crazy what one sonic sound, what one instrument can do to, to add to, to a show and, and, and to a band. It's, it's, it's cool. We're, we've been really happy about that. Have you played Rochester before or Western New York? Yeah, we played Rochester, but I think it's been a few years since. What's there's like a big school up there. Um, we have a couple. Okay. <laughs> I, 
I don't know which one. Have you had a garbage plate though? That's always the big number one question. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. What is, what is that again? It's a bed of mac salad and home fries and then the cheeseburger yeah. on top. Yes. I think at the time I wasn't eating meat. And so I was like, you guys enjoy that one. Um, but this time around, like I'll take two. Is it good? Oh, a hundred percent. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Babe, you going to try that? I've had it. He, he's been behind the camera like, you're going to love it. <laughs> cool. and anywhere is good. Anywhere you get them from is good. That's always the number one question that people want to know is about the garbage plate. <laughs> Sick. I love that. Cool. Um, anything that I didn't ask that you wanted to touch on about the music or the tour? Or... No, thank you so much. I appreciate you. And, um, I can't wait to come and get what's called a garbage plate. Garbage plate. Play. <laughs> I'm gonna, I can't wait to eat it. My son will try it too. It's awesome. That sounds good. All right. Well, it's baby daddy's weekend tour at Kodak center. Thank you so much.